right, welcome back. Um, it has been such a busy day. I have been going, a mil it feels like a million miles an hour and trying to get a lot of different projects done. I'm not sure how it is around your house, but around our house when we go to get ready for a road trip, it always feels like things just have gone missing. Things that I have seen throughout the year that are specifically for road trips that I'm like, oh, okay, I, I'm glad I know where that is. And then all of a sudden I go to get it out for the road trip and it's gone. So I have dug through several closets today looking for the kids' headphones. Um, Sawyer told me that he thought he put it in his closet and then my husband thought it was in our closet. So un, um, unplanned, I did some closet organization because I was looking for something and tearing stuff apart. So I've done that, trying a new system. Um, last time we did a road trip, Vivi was rear facing. So I didn't really worry too much about, you know, electronics for her. But now that she's forward facing, I can't just give Big Brother the DVD player and only he get to watch it. So I figured out a way to kind of like, uh, they have a bungee cord that came with the portable DVD player. And I do like our DVD player. So I will link that product below if you're interested in a portable DVD player. Um, it has a lot of good things. It comes with like an AC, uh, AC car adapter. It comes with a power cord. It has a rechargeable mem like a rechargeable battery. It has a little remote control. The screen like completely inverts so you can watch it like on your lap flat or you can pop it up and turn the screen around. So it's, it's really a great little DVD player. Um, but it, with the bungee cord, I was able to attach it to the center console. So it'll be kind of right by my elbow facing backwards so that kids can hopefully both see it there from their car seats. So I got that installed, put that big, big box of, you know, extra toys and things that we're going to leave at my mom's house, put that in the car. Um, and I've started to pack, um, my suitcase, at least started to make a list of all the things that I'll need to bring. I did find the headphones eventually in the downstairs, um, kind of like mud room closet of all places. So we have the headphones, we have the DVD player, it's charged up, it's ready to go. I had mentioned before that for each road trip we go on, I try to get some type of small trinket toy. And Sawyer's was a no-brainer because his have been, for the last year, they have been Matchbox cars. Because they're cheap, they come in these nice little grab packs. This one is a Batman theme. I let Walmart choose. I just put, I needed some Hot Wheels and this is what they chose. But he will like the Batman ones. Um, so he will think this is pretty cool. Um, and I will wrap them up in tissue paper. And he will love them because then I let them him open one here and there throughout the trip. It's kind of like a little surprise. And he will think that's great. Now they don't have a similar product for girls and I've been a little bit disappointed by that. So this is something, this was significantly more expensive. It was twice what his Matchbox cars were. But are these little calico critters. This is the little yellow Labrador family. I thought it was cute because we have a yellow lab. So it's these, they're dressed in these really sweet little clothes. And I can wrap them up and I can give them to Vivian. Similar to the Hot Wheels, I can wrap them up in tissue paper and give them to her. Um, you know one by one as the road trip goes down so she always has something some little new type of trinket toy to play with so these are the two little surprise toys I will put in the um, kind of like the road trip bag that sits next to me and I will wrap them in tissue paper and then you know as they start to get fussy or whiny or resistant to getting back in the car seat after a stop they'll have some little fun trinket to play with Good morning, it is Saturday, uh, what day is it? May 30th, and um, yeah, happy Saturday. We've already started our day with our pancake breakfast as, as our normal tradition, and now I'm upstairs packing, and I thought, you know, <laughs> I was gonna sit down and try to do like a, a more uh, organized, specific post about packing for a road trip, but then I really started thinking about it and the idea of what do you pack for a two week, 10 hour road trip to self quarantine at your parents' house with your kids? Probably not many people are gonna be needing that information or searching for that information. So I will spare you the 25, 30 minute, um, you know, more organized post where I show you all the products and things that I'm bringing because my guess is that 
not a lot of people are road tripping um, to their parents' house in quarantine. So, I'll tell you what we're bringing. We're bringing junk clothes, farm clothes, play clothes, clothes that can get trash, clothes that can get muddy, clothes that can get some abuse, and I won't care if they get ruined. I'm bringing very few nice things. So I will have, I have most of the kids stuff laid out. I will go ahead and flip the camera around and show you. And then when I put it in the suitcase, I will see how much space is left and then I'll fill in around it with like pull-ups and because Sawyer's still in pull-ups at night. Um, Vivi still wears a diaper at nap, even though most of the time she's dry, but she also obviously wears a diaper at bedtime. And then, you know, like some of their blankets and special stuffed animals that they're gonna want. I may have to pack those last, so I'll leave space in the luggage for that. We are using our Travel Pro suitcases, which we love. We kind of discovered those a couple years ago. Um, some flight attendants gave us tips, and then we started researching it, and apparently, like, it's this thing. Like, this is the brand that most travel agents use. They're super, super lightweight. They pack really well. They have, like, per perfect gliding wheels and that swivel and do all that. So we really love them. Every once in a while you can find them at Ross or uh, Marshalls, TJ Maxx for heavily discounted, um, you know, off the regular price because they're like last year's model or whatever. But we love our travel pros. We have three carry-ons and two large and it like, you cannot believe the amount of stuff you can fit in a carry-on. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what I got packed for the kids and we will go from there. All right, this is Vivi's little pile. So these are, I would say about one, two, three, four, five shorts and t-shirts. And the t-shirts, you know, I'll open this one up. You know, they all have varying degrees of stains on them and they're old, like this is an 18 to 24 month t-shirt. So she's growing out of it anyway. It might as well, it might as well go to Grandma's house and get trashed. Um, same for all of her shorts, like these are 18 to 24 month little um, bubble shorts. So these are gonna be her last summer anyway for sure. These little ruffle shorts are 2T. So this is kind of like her nicer shorts. If we're gonna like, I don't know, wanna look nice in quarantine, I'm not really sure. We don't plan on going anywhere. So we'll see what I use the nice clothes for. Maybe pictures, I don't know. Same with the leggings. Um, I think she has four or five pairs of play leggings and t-shirts to go with them. See, like this one is very stained. This little pink gingham she wore in our backyard and our mud just stains everything. So this is Vivi's little play clothes pile. Two little night dresses for sleeping, or excuse me, three little night dresses for sleeping. A pile of underwear, I'm bringing more than she needs probably just because she's still every once in a while having little accidents. And then two sweet dresses. This is a Janie and Jack. This is what she wore this year for Easter. It's just this little, very, very light blue with a white embroidery and a ruffle and a little gathered waist. And then a dress we had brought for our Disney cruise, which she still has the tags on, is a 24 month uh, Ralph Lauren polo dress. So it's got a diaper cover and it's really sweet. It's buttoned down all the way and has a little detailed hem and little cap sleeves and it's really sweet. It's like a periwinkle blue. So that's what Vivi's bringing as well as I'm bringing one of her play swimsuits. And I call this a play swimsuit because it also got stained in Brazil. There was some um, oil tar on the beach and it just does not come out of the swimwear. So she's got this little combo that's like a little rash guard and is really cute. But I also have given her a bigger size 2T rash guard handed down from brother that's like the three quarter sleeves and goes longer so it'll cover more. We do think the splash pad will be open out where my mom lives and CDC seems to think that swimming pools and chlorine is gonna be fine so we'll probably go to the splash pad. So that's Vivi. For Sawyer he's got his also his play swimsuit. These trunks from Jimboree and a Disney rash guard that as you can see has some of those like oil stains and it's kind of snug so this is definitely going to be the last see it's a size four i think i've mentioned this before disney stuff runs small so this definitely fits like a three so he's growing out of it and then his big floppy tigger hat for the splash pad and then over here to his pile 
Here's our big travel pro suitcase. I'll put all the kids gear in here. He's got four or five pairs of underwear, a few socks for his when he wears his sneakers, and then a whole stack of play t-shirts that either have already gotten stains or can be trashed. And four pairs of play shorts here, various colors and prints, and then a nice polo and two pairs of kind of dress shorts. These salmon colored ones and then these dark navy ones with like this braided belt. So both of those will go and then the polo can be washed and worn. So he's kind of got two nice outfits there. Three sets of pajamas for him, his Mickey pajamas and these from Burt's Bees. You can see these are stained so if they get trashed at my parents' house, I don't really care. So these black and white ones, the moon and star and then the Mickey. And then he is a slipper guy, whether it's hot or cold. So I'm bringing these slippers. These were from Christmas and have got a lot of use. So that's pretty much his stuff. All right, so as you can see, it holds quite a bit. Um, all the kids' clothes are here towards the bottom of the suitcase. I went ahead and got a little, one of my favorite little zip bags. I have a whole collection of these, I think 12 of these. They all nestle together, so this size was perfect for Vivi's little bows, some baby, you know, like uh, baby oil for her hair if it's getting knotted, and a little comb and then assortment of bows in there. The swimsuits got packed. I put a sleeve of the pull-ups for Sawyer. This is definitely more than he'll need because he just we're just gonna be gone 15 days, so this is probably double what he needs, but I also thought this is a little shy of what Vivi needs, so you know we could supplement and put a pull-up on her instead. Um, and then this is the stuff for the, the splash pad, um, as well as bug spray because my mom's out in the country. Um, farm country. This is the face stick, the kids 50. Um, it's the mineral defense. And then I ended up really liking this one for our Brazil trip. For me, it's got a nice scent and it doesn't <laughs> go on super, super white like the minerals do. Uh, and then this is the, the spray for the kids, the um, 30 Kiss My Face uh, mineral spray. So a mineral cream and then a mineral spray and then a sunblock stick and a sunblock for me and then a deep woods off spray for bugs and mosquitoes. Two packable swim towels that roll up um, and that are really soft and then I'll go ahead and put my beach bag in here for the water park. This I got when I was doing the pop sugar bag. Back in look, 2012, so this is almost vintage at this point, but it's just a canvas bag and inside I have a Ziploc bag for when the kids have wet swimsuits and things from the water park, so. That will go in here as well, and then I still, as you can see, have a good size pocket. This whole thing is empty, so I can still keep stuffing, and this suitcase just holds a ton. And then for me, when my clothes are ready, I have one little roll-on, and this will be my, um, my suitcase for my stuff. Also Travel Pro. And this one is like the deluxe roll, the deluxe carry-on, because it has this nice electronic pocket padded for laptops or tablets, um, so like a padded sleeve here. So it's super nice. And then all these little cubbies and compartments inside, two here, one over here for like shoes or flip flops, two here, another two up here, and then this whole thing zips and folds out. So super nice, lots of little stuff for me. So this will be my suitcase. Okay, another one of these plastic bags for the winds. I love them, love them, love them. So I've got assorted band-aids, hydrocortisone cream for bug bites and things like that. Their toothbrushes, um, flosser and kids toothpaste. I have kids um, allergy medication. My kids don't really have allergies, but we're going to a place that they don't go often and it is peak pollen out there. So just in case, I'm bringing that and then children's Tylenol and children's Motrin and a syringe. So this is kind of like my little pharmacy. It goes right in the carry-on. Welcome back. I am still packing for our road trip and I am moving on to the little trinkets and toys for the kids. So what I do is I take these little figurines like I showed you um, and I just wrap them up in tissue paper. So here are Vivian's little dolls wrapped up in tissue paper, kind of like a little present. And now I'm going to do the same with Sawyer's um, Batman cars. I just take strips of old tissue paper and literally just kind of roll the car up like a candy or a little, you know, surprise and then 
you know, if they're starting to get fussy or not, you know, wanting to get back in the car after a stop, I can use these little gifts as an incentive or give them a couple quiet moments to play with something brand new. So it worked like a charm our last road trip. And then again for our Brazil trip, the long, long airplane trip, these little matchbox cars were the lifesaver for Sawyer. He just loves them. You know, they're all these little details. He likes to learn their names and then he plays with them in his car seat. All right, my stuff is packed. I have a lot in this small little travel on, a lot. Uh, my swimsuit and ball cap are here, as well as, well as a t-shirt. My rash guard, I've got two pairs of jeans, three pairs of shorts, a whole stack of t-shirts, uh, underwear, socks, a bra, one dress, a pair of sweatpants, just in case the evenings or mornings are chilly. A pair of my Toms packed up here. A full um, cosmetic bag, a big one, comfortably packed in there. And then I've got my charger and my medications in here. Um, one of those like silky shorts to wear under my dress. A couple of cooling towels for if we go on hikes or anything. And then the front will have this is where the ipad will go and then i will be packed so i think i'm gonna put this in the car and i will be pretty much done okay as promised the car is fully packed it is um almost four o'clock on sunday afternoon and the kids and i will be leaving bright and early tomorrow morning so the car is completely packed and packed pretty much <laughs> to the gills, I think is what they call it. So I've got my Garmin, it's an old outdated Garmin, but it's a pretty basic route and I think it's better than having my phone um, using all the data. So that is going on. On this side is the cooler. So it's just this styrofoam cooler and I'm using just reusable you know, ice packs that we've had accumulating in our freezer that I can just toss at the end of the trip. This bag over here is the DVD accessory bag. So it has the little remote control. It has um, the plug for the wall, so we can use it at my parents' house. It has the kids' headphones, the manual, and then this disc is packed with all of our Disney DVDs for the kids, Cars, and Mulan, and Cinderella, and Toy Story, <laughs> and Finding Dory. So we've just got a whole assortment of fun kid videos for them. I've put the DVD player here. You can see it comes with a bungee strap. So the bungee strap is around the console here, keeping it from, you know, flying off if we get into, you know, some type of fender bender. So it is attached here so both kids can see it so the sound and screen are pointing out towards the kids and they should both be able to see it from their car seats so that was my best idea um, that i could come up with plus it'll be easy for me with that little remote control to skip to stop to um you know fast forward to go back or whatever and then every time we stop i can take the straps off and easily put in a dvd for them to kind of change it up so they always have something fresh to watch. So Vivi's seat with her little um, busy bag, her blankie and her doll. Sawyer seat with his uh, blankie and busy bag as well. Extra cup holders there on the console. And then I will go ahead and go around and show you all the other details. Back here by Sawyer's feet, so his feet will kind of comfortably rest here on this box, is a box of extra food and supplies that the kids, you know, usually go through that my mom wouldn't have. Pouches, yogurt pouches, fruit pouches, um, some crackers and little snack cookies and things like that. So um, this is the box of food and then that's the pack and play there under Vivi's seat. And then in here is the big stroller see it folds up this is our double zoe that i've talked about in several videos and once you have the suitcases lying down here see this is the kids big suitcase my small suitcase then you can fold this up and the zoe slides right in you can see back there kind of see that was the box of toys and things um, toys and gear that's going to my parents house blocks are here on this corner 
that little diaper box you can barely see is a box of hand-me-down clothes going to my sister-in-law and my brother and then I'm gonna stick my tinnies right here in the morning because they did not fit in my suitcase so my walking shoes for going on walks with my mom will be there and the trunk is full so this is my grab bag so it's got all their snack cups that I prepackaged with little munchers and Cheerios and things like that some antibacterial wet wipes these are those little goody cars and little goody um, figurines for Vivian Sawyer. And then down below here, past all the snack cups, are my kind of like hobbies I'm bringing to my mom's house. A Bible study, my book I'm reading, and then this black and white is my paint kit that I got from Mother's Day that I've only had a chance to do one paint kit. So when the kids need to go potty, the cooler can be turned around this can come pop out and then they should actually be able to sit there both of them we I tested Sawyer who's the biggest one and he can sit there and pee and then I've got a huge thing of Clorox wipes and a fresh pack of baby wipes so that is our potty station but I'm ready to go and I'm excited so excited to get on the road tomorrow to see my family to see my mom and my dad to start this new adventure with the kids I just feel so grateful that I get to do adventures like this with the kids that our, my husband works so hard to take care of us and to provide for us and that he's staying behind to take care of the house and the dog and to work so we can go visit and have fun and make memories. So when I see you next time, I will be on the road. So say a wish and a prayer. When this goes live, the trip should be over and hopefully I'll have a couple of fun Indiana farm life vlogs to share with you. So happy road trip. Um, you know, I know it's not the summer we all pictured, certainly not the summer we hoped for, but gas is cheap and um, family, as long as everyone is safe and healthy, I'm sure are gonna really appreciate our visit. So we are looking forward to it. We will talk very, very soon. Bye-bye.